Hi there. Um, as I'm starting to load a bit more to this channel, I thought I'd show you a time lapse of me producing a 3D model. Um, if you're more interested in seeing the actual finished product, then you can just skip to the end. I've got an annotation on the screen now that should just take you straight there. Otherwise, uh, sit back and uh, watch me produce this. Um, so I'm using a method called nerves modeling. It's basically where you kind of draw a series of lines um, and the program will extrude along that. So it's a bit like putting some cloth over so a wire frame. It, it produces a really nice, smooth texture. Um, the only problem is that to export this and start using it in other programs like Unity that I am, um, which would allow me to make more interactive almost like game items, um, it, it needs to be turned into a polygonal, mo polyg polygonal model that kind of reduces the quality of it. Um, I probably could have upped the quality in this, kind of had it more of a smooth surface rather than, as it is quite now, quite jagged. Uh, but that's that's for kind of like future note, I guess. Um, here I'm going over the texture, um, which is an actual picture of a Lekithoi from a museum in America. Um, I'm going over it in Photoshop because I want to make it look a bit more crisp and a bit more like it was. it's brand new. Um, it also allows me to then use these outlines to create a bump map and a normal map so then it, it kind of protrudes a bit more from, from the model. So a bump and normal map are, well a bump map kind of describes it quite well. It just adds a bit of depth to a, a, a 2D surface. Um, so it kind of tells us the computer that, okay, when you put light across this, it's actually not flat, it has a little bit of a, a raised surface to it, which is what you'd get on the actual ones itself. So in this particular example, they're um, decorating by putting slip on the surface of the pot, raised up and painting like that, rather than in some of the more typical ones that you might see, which are like black thicker, where you're carving into the surface of the slip. Um, so to give you a bit more of an idea of the age of the object, um, it's late 5th century, I would say, um, towards the kind of period of Alexander the Great's father, um, Philip of Macedon, starting to kind of fiddle around in uh, Greek politics. Um, it's a kind of like the end of, of, almost the end of what you could say is ancient Greece. Um, you do get them a lot earlier in the Archaic period, and you find them in a lot of contexts, actually. Um, quite a lot of them are in grave contexts, so they would hold uh, scented oils, and also in domestic contexts, where they're just holding olive oil. Um, so now I'm in Unity, and this is pretty much the end of this, actually. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like the model.